Are they ready at the table? If they are ready, let them do that. All we need is one. Only one. Just one man. Bring the light of God into our generation. Log on to www.championsrailassembly.com Click prophecy and watch God's servant, Brother Joshua Iginla's prophecies concerning nation, world leaders, world events, natural disaster, and many more. And it came to pass. On the 13th of July 2014, during a live service here in CRA, God's servant revealed by prophecy the state of health of a sitting African president and how people around him wants him dead. He further admonished the church to pray against the spirit of death over the president's life. These were his exact words. I've prayed about it. I've been on fasting about it. When I was in the States, I still prayed about it. God showed me over and over in asking God why. There is a leader in Africa a leader in Africa and um, the enemy really the enemy really want to take this great leader the leader in Africa I, I would have loved to go further but I want to be careful mm. there's a leader in Africa when I mean a leader a sitting president mm. Because why should they declare days of mourning? Why are other countries declaring days of mourning? What is the meaning of these three and seven days of mourning? Why is the flag brought? Why is the country crying? Why is CNN carrying this news? Why are presidents of other countries sending condolence greeting? I think there is a cause in the country because it is not just the president. Force. There's a force. There's a force that the whole nation and the Kabas have to come together to pray about the seat, the first seat, the number one. I didn't say the number two seat, number one seat, the number one seat. I see all manner of medical application on the body of this person, except God, except God, best and expertise. Why? At first, the news will come. No, no, no. It's a good person. Majority of what the political opponents say about this man is a good person. I'm not talking about Nigeria, so don't put your mind here. This is a good person. This is a good president. Though there are wrong reports, but this is a good person. And this person does not deserve now. And that's why we need to pray. Mm. Mm. Especially let us pray around Southern Africa. Do you know why? Because this is a blessed country. But there's a curse on that country. A curse that has been done since 1963 that curse is fighting that country they themselves don't know why and I don't want to go deep I, will not, I don't want to there is no case that is hopeless so they are going and say hey, let's, let's rush him out no 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 he's hopeless why should we rush him no. and what is making me to tell you to pray I'm not happy because even the people around this great man want him to die. Why? You, I'm talking to you. Why do you want him to die? Because you too will die. Why? You are happy. You want him to die. Because you, you too will die. You will die. Pray for him. Because you know his condition, but you don't know your own. Your own is even worse. That's what I'm talking. I know what I'm talking to. Why, sh 
why should you be around this great man and want him to die? So they're not helping mm -hmm. him. They're smiling with him, wishing him, Mr. President, who wants quick recovery, but they want him to die. May I pray for you? May God give you good people around you. I know you are going to be a leader and you are already a leader. You will not be surrounded by servants. That people carry you and show you concern. If God open your heart to see what they think about you, you will know they want you out of the way. I pray for you. You are, I declare you will not die. As time goes on, I tell you, if there is a change in the realm of the spirit, I will tell you, Father, we thank you because you have delivered it. We thank you. And let everybody shout a bigger amen. amen. It was confirmed on the 28th of October 2014 that the fifth president of the Republic of Zambia, President Michael Chilufia Sata, passed on. Zambian President Michael Sata has died at the age of 77 after receiving treatment for an undisclosed illness. President Sata, who was being treated in the UK, died in London's King Edward VII Hospital on Tuesday night. Media reports say he died after a sudden onset of heightened heart rate with his wife and son at his bedside. Zambian President Michael Sata has died. The 77-year-old leader is said to have died in London, where he had been receiving treatment for an undisclosed illness. Sata, who was Zambia's fifth president, left the country for treatment accompanied by his wife and family members. The Zambian government confirmed his demise, describing it as a blow to the country's leadership. Not the prophecy. God's servant, Brother Joshua Igila, revealed that the prophecy concerns a southern african president that's a good person i'm not talking about nigeria so don't put your mind here he's a good president though there are wrong reports but he's a good person and that's why we need to pray mm, especially let us pray around southern africa especially around southern africa around southern africa Joshua again the father revealed that he saw all manner of medical application and expertise to keep the president alive. But it will take only God. I see all manner of medical application on the body of this person. Except God. Except God. Best and expertise. But why? At first the news will come. No, no, no. Recall Brother Joshua Iginla's last words after the prayer session. If there is a change in the spiritual realm, I will tell you. As time goes on, I will tell you. If there is a change in the realm of the spirit, I will tell you. As time goes on, I will tell you. If there is a change in the realm of the spirit, I will tell you. If God says yes, no man can say no. On behalf of God's servant, Brother Joshua Iginla, and the entire body of Champions Royal Assembly join the Republic of Zambia to mourn the death of their president and pray that God grant Zambians the fortitude to bear the loss. Let us rise up and pray for Zambia.
Why do we need to pray for Zambia? Because of this prophetic word, I technically took my crusade to Zambia. I will leave the rest. Because God did not just only speak to us for us to sit down. I technically took my crusade to Zambia. Those who are in the crusade ground, remember, we make declarations. And I've said it that there is no mature prophet. I can't enter your country and I begin to tell you your president will die. I'm sure you will arrest me. <laughs> but the truth is that I fasted, we prayed, but we always say let his will be done. But that's not where I'm going. If you remember what that prophecy said, I am speaking to somebody that you wish him to die. What about you? Are you not going to die? Because let me leave that. Because what you wish to somebody, okay. But we need to pray so that that country should not continue to, because what I see, that country should not continue to register that number one seat that people just leave the earth. It's a curse. And I wish that that country understand that God's voice is speaking. It's not all about doing election, having the number one seat. It's all about breaking the curse in that land. A curse that is something I can't say. A curse that everybody that sits at that one seat, that number one seat, we exit the throne before time. Our own is born in here. And that's why we should pray. I've said it. That it's not all about winning election in 2015. It's all about winning an election that will bring peace to all parties. I am a stronger party. I'm a weaker party. I'm an overtaking party. That is not the issue. The issue is how do we win election and still shake our hands and smile? May God help us. And I said, Boko Haram, Boko Haram, that is not the issue. Let us not have a monster that is bigger than Boko Haram. That is the issue. You, get, you remember I keep saying this. Politicians should tread with caution. Where need be, let the food be eaten by other people. Take your own portion. Don't eat all alone. If you eat all alone, you will see how you will vomit all. Mm. If we are all fighting to eat the same food, eh? I speak, oh, eh? we are all fighting to eat the same food. If I have the power to collect all the food, let me not take all the food alone. Oh. Let me cut a portion to give. If I take 60 and somebody take 40, if I take 55 and somebody take 50, we are still in the same course. Don't take all alone. If you take all alone, Macbeth will mother sleep and he will not sleep mm. 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 if we don't talk this is our country there's nowhere we will go to I can't hold gun I'm not a military police but I can see what I see I have to say and I will say it maturely let them that have here hear let us pray for Zambia open your mouth and talk that God keeps Zambia preserve them and the next disposition open your mouth and pray don't say it's because it's not your country and viewers all over the world let's pray for the nation Zambia let's pray for Zambia Lord we pray for Zambia we pray that you preserve them that you uphold them that you keep that nation that you keep the nation that you keep them and guide them and teach them how to make a good decision at this stage of their life Father I ask that you preserve them Lord we ask that Lord, you give them leaders that will defeat righteousness. We break the curse on the number one seat. We break that curse. Can I hear you shout a bigger amen? amen. Father, we break the curse on the number one seat. Amen. That says everyone on that seat will die on the throne. We break it! Amen. The way you are shouting that amen is not louder. Amen. Lord, we pray for our nation. Zambia, that there will be peace. That there will be peace. That you grant them the fortitude to bear this loss. We declare strength upon all the leaders. We declare your grace 
upon all the leaders. We declare favor. Can I hear you shout a bigger amen?